Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Hello, microphone check. Hello, microphone check. Check mic, check mic. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Checking microphone, checking microphone. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? One time, two times. Check mic, check mic. Melissa, thank you, Melissa. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Melissa. Hello, Cesar. Hello, hello. Hello, Adriana. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Hello, Lisbeth. Hello, Mayra Patricia. Hello, teacher. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, everybody. How are you today? I'm fine. Okay, that's great. I'm happy I'm to hear that. All right. I'm happy to hear that. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday. Tomorrow is going to be the last day. So we need to go ahead and hit the pedal to the metal and finish section five. So in today's class, we're going to go ahead and just jump into it because we need to move forward. I would like for us to go to the next section, which is using the future tense. Uh, let me have uh, Melissa, number one, please. Okay. Melissa, number one, please. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Thank you, Melissa. Eh, alguien que ya hizo esta actividad o no la han hecho todavía? Alguien? Somebody? Puedo poner la, el ejercicio, por favor. Yes. Can you see it? Lo pueden ver? Yes, teacher. Okay. ¿Ya lo hicieron o aún todavía no? Yes. Okay. Mayra, number one, please. One moment, please. Yes. Is final exam? No. This is the knowledge check. Uh, we're working from section number 5.4. Okay, Melissa respondió en el chat. Uh, this uh, what are you doing tonight? What are you doing tonight? Would you like to go out? Good. Thank you, Melissa. Number two, Adriana Gretel. Number two, Adriana Gretel. Uh, are you doing any on Friday night? Are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Yes. Voy a ver John Week 5. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. thank, thank you, Adriana. Number six, Lisbeth. Number six, Lisbeth. Okay. 
Ok, Lisbeth está ocupada. Eh, Mayra Patricia, number three. Mayra Patricia. We are, uh -huh. we are having friends over for a barbecue Sunday. Very Would good. You in your parents like to come? Excellent. We are having friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. Thank you, Mayra. Eh, Cesar Alexander, number four. Cesar Alexander, number four. Number four. Are, are, are you, are you staying? Very good. Are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike? Thank you. Let me have... David Alonso. Part two, David Alonso. Okay, Melissa Guadalupe, raise your hand. Yes, Melissa, you raise your hand. Hello, hello. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try and go Saturday. Okay, very good. I am going to be here on Saturday. Good, good. Good job, Melissa. Eh, Cristian Oswaldo, are you there? Cristian Oswaldo, can you hear me? Hello, Cristian Oswaldo. Are you there? Adriana Grethel, can you hear me? It is Janet. Yeah. Can you hear me? Oh, okay, Adriana, number two, please. Adriana, number two, please. And um, well, my father is going to visit my brother at college. Very good. Well, my father is going to visit my brother at college. But my mother and I are going to be home. Excellent. Uh, Claudia Jocelyn, number three. Claudia Jocelyn, number three. Good evening, teacher. Eh, esa parte no me salió buena, no le he podido hacer. Ah, okay. That's okay. We're going to do it right now together. Thank you, Claudia. Uh, Glendy Flores, number three. Glendy Flores, number three. Sorry, I can. I am going to work overtime tonight. How about to, tomorrow night? Very good. Sorry, I can't. I am going to work overtime tonight. How about tomorrow night? Excellent, excellent. Number four, please. For me, the next one is Catherine Jasmine. Catherine Jasmine, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Catherine. Number four, please. Okay. Okay, la perdimos. Eh, Miguel Portillo, can you hear me? Miguel, yes, teacher. Okay, Miguel Portillo, number four. I'm going to stay at the office till seven. 
Very good. I am going to stay at the office till seven. Can we go to a late show? Okay, good. All right, guys. So number one is am going to be. Number two is going to visit. Number three, am going to work. Number four, am going to stay. Any questions? No. Okay. It's clear. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one, which is a phone conversation. Can I take a message? I would like for everybody to please pay attention and listen. Hello, everyone. In the conversation we're about can to everybody hear, hear, two verbs very close in meaning. Can everybody hear? Used. Yes. Once yes, you can. In the conversation, practice um, it as many times as possible. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. May I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry. She's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Ms. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello, everyone. In the conversation we're about to hear, we're going to take a look at it one more time. Closing meaning will be used. Once you listen to the conversation, practice it as many times as possible. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. May I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G A L E? No, it's K A L E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2:30. Friday at 2:30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Ms. Graham the message. Thank you. All right, guys. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and practice the conversation in this text. Everybody, please listen and repeat. Good morning, Parker Industries. Good morning, Parker, Good morning, Parker morning, Industries. Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? Hello. Hello. I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. she's, she's not, not in. in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kate. Yes, please. Yes, yes please. This, this is Mr. Mr. Kate. Kate. Yeah. Is that G A L E? Is that, that G, -A -L -E? G A L E? No, it's K A L E. No, no it's K A L E. K A L E. All right. All right. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at two thirty. Please tell her Please our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. Friday at 
Friday at 2 30. At 2 30. Friday at 2 30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? And could you and ask her to call me this afternoon? Could you ask her to call me this afternoon? This afternoon? My number is 646. My, My number, number is 646. Six four six five 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 six four six five 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 four zero three one 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 Yes, Mr. Kale. Yes. Yes, yes Mr. Kale. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Miss Graham the message. I give Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank, Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Goodbye. Okay, guys. At this moment. Does anybody have any questions in regards to the pronunciation or the meaning of any of the words that you see here? Mm, I have a question. In yes. the conversation, the, uh, in the numbers, 555 um, 4031, in four the conversation, Oh, that's okay. Oh, so uh, you, can, that? you can say both. You can say O or you can say zero. Both are acceptable. Oh. Good question, this pet. So on the phone, guys, you can say 4031 or you can say 4031, whatever you want. It's okay. Thank you. Another okay, question. Thank you, you Lisbeth. Yeah. Another question. Good question. Another question? Somebody ask me another question. Anybody? What is the meaning of meeting? Reunión. Okay, reunión is meeting. Very good. What is the meaning of uh, message? Mensaje. 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 Okay. What is the meaning afternoon? Tarde. Tarde. That's Tarde. right. That's right. That's right. Okay. So I see that you recognize this vocabulary. What I would like for everybody to do is we're going to work in pairs, and I would like for you guys to practice the conversation. I'm going to share the conversation in the WhatsApp group. I am going to share the conversation in the WhatsApp group. So that you can have it there. Todos lo tienen? Todos lo tienen? Yes. Yes. Okay, y voy a permitir que puedan compartir sus pantallas. Please practice at least five times or as many times as possible. And then we're going to practice together as a class. Ready? Let's go. Ah, ya lo amplio, permito. Vaya, creo que se ve bien, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, se, se mira bien. Ok. Ah, ¿cómo iniciamos ahí? 
Sí. Solo vamos a practicar la conversación, ¿verdad? Sí, Así si quieren, yo puedo empezar. ¿Quién quiere ser el segundo? Yo puedo, yo puedo iniciar. Ah, usted va a iniciar. Ok, démosle nosotros dos. Ahorita. Ok. Ok. Inicio. Good morning, good morning Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Miss Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's no, not in. Bien, pero me cuesta. <laughs> no hay problem. I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take the message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kell. Is that G A L E? No, it's K A L E. All right. Please tell, tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2 30. Friday at 2 30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 645. 555. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? 4 4 0 3 1. 6 4 6 5 5 5 4 0 3 1. Yes. Mr. Kale, I'll give Mr. Mrs. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ok, ahí oh, tal vez ahorita puedan practicar Hiroki e Iris. Ah, ok. Entonces comienzo. No ¿Está? sé si Hiroki está en... en... ¿Está ahorita. Sí, sí estoy aquí. Ah. Ok. okay. Hey, good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, uh, may I speak to Miss Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? ¿Quién va a ser el siguiente? Ya. Sí, pero volví a desaparecer. <risa> ok. Ya que se movía mucho. <risa> Ay, por eso que no estoy tardando esa ocupación. Ya está. ¿Quién va a ser el... entonces? Ajá. Si gusta, empecemos así. Ah, no sé si quién. Ay, ya. ¿Quién comenzaría? Yo comienzo. Vaya. Se logra ver. Ya. Sí. Sí. Sí, 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 sí. Okay. Bueno. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak 
to Miss Graham, please. I'm sorry, she's not him. Can I take a mess message? Mess yes, please. This is Mr. Kell. Is that G A L E? No, it's G L N E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at two thirty. Friday at two thirty. And could you ask her? Told me this afternoon. My number is six four six five 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 four zero three one. Six four six five 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 four zero three one. Yes, Mr. Kale, I give Mr. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Are you finished? Hello. Yes, okay. yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and practice in pairs. Let's go ahead and we're going to practice in pairs. Let me have two volunteers. Two volunteers. Me, teacher. All right, Cesar, you are going to be secretary. Me. And they, can you me? I. Uh, Hiroki. Hiroki, you're going to be Mr. Kale. Good morning, Parker Industries. Oh, uh, wait a minute, please. Um, I don't know. Um, no tengo la presentación. La puedes compartir. No. Right no now, puedo. right now, it's in the uh, WhatsApp group. It's in the oh, WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Oh, it's okay. In the WhatsApp Give me group. a, a second, please. Um. Proverbios. Eight thirty. Eight thirty. Okay. okay. All right. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may may I speak in? Oh, excuse me. Hello, may I speak to Miss Granjo, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kell. Is that G A L E? No, it is K I. L E. All right. Please tell me tell her our meeting on Friday at two thirty. Friday at two thirty. Uh, could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is um sixty four six six and uh, five five forty thirty one. Okay, six four six five 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 four zero oh, three one. Yes, Mister K. Yeah, I will give yeah, Mrs. Yeah. Graham the message. Oh, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Perfect. Perfect. Good job, guys. Perfect. Good job, Cesar. Good job, Miguel. All right, Miguel. No, it's Hiroki. Oh, sorry. Good job, Hiroki. 
Uh, Hiroki select somebody and Cesar select somebody. Okay, Adriana Gretel. Adriana Gretel. Uh, Miguel Portillo. Okay. Adriana Gretel is going to be secretary. Miguel Portillo is going to be Kale. Okay. And good morning, Parker Industry. Hello, may I speak to Miss Graham, please? I'm sorry, she is not in call. I take a messenger. Message. Message, sorry. Uh, hello, may I speak to Miss Graham, please? Is that J A L E? I think he has problems with the internet. Sorry, okay. I, I have problem with my internet. Okay, go ahead, continue. Okay. Um, hello, may I speak to Miss Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in call, is say a um, messenger. No, message. Yes, please. Message. Mes Messenger yes. es una aplicación. Message. Mensaje. Message. message. Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that J A L E? No, it's K L A L E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2 30. Friday at 2 30. And call you ask her to call me this afternoon. My number is 646 555 4031. 646 555 Yes, Miss. Okay, I'll give you a uh, Miss Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Excellent work. Excellent work. All right. I see that with the practice, you're improving uh, your fluency. That's good. All right. Uh, Miguel, select somebody. And Adriana, select somebody. Andrea. Andrea. Andrea, you are going to be secretary. Uh, Glendy. Glendy, you're going to be Mr. Kale. Okay. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Miss Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Um, can I take her a uh, message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Okay, is that? J A L E? No, it's K A L E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2 30. Friday at 2 30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Mr. Graham the message. 
Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Good. Good. Good pronunciation. Excellent work. All right. I would like for you guys to write a similar conversation like that one. I want you to write it at the bottom in the discussion forum. So you're going to come over here to the discussion and you are going to invent a conversation uh, taking a message. It can be maybe a message in your office, in your house, at the gym, at the grocery store, in the park, in the car, on the bus, walking, in the gym, whatever, whatever. You select. But somebody calls, the person that they're looking for is not around, they're busy, and you got to take a message. Any questions? The topic can be about food, about money, about a homework, a task at work, a project, anything. Use your imagination. Are you ready? All right, we're gonna work in pairs and then we're gonna read it to the class. You're going to work in pairs and after that, you are going to read the conversation to the class. Ready, let's go. Okay. Some good morning. Is the Julia jeans, for example? Uh, for example, at the gym O and M. Mm. And later. Hello. May I speak to mm, pero en este caso sería habláramos de en, en mujer o en hombre. Bueno, si usted quiere, no hay problema. May I speak? Vaya. Hello. Ese sería entonces señorita, va. Sir. Miss. Miss. Señorita Miss, señora Missis. Vaya, podemos hacer este. Mira. Hello, eh, may I speak to. Ah, pero que dice Mr. Graham. Es Mrs. Graham, es la señora Graham. Esa señorita, oh. Mrs. Uh -huh. Ajá, es que no está hablando directamente con él. Quería él que él, que el señor Cal quería hablar con, con la señorita, ¿verdad? Pero le, le salió un recepcionista. Ajá, está preguntando por Entonces, ¿cómo preguntar por un Elba? ¿Verdad? Bueno, sí. A mí, sir. Mr. Mr. Martinez, for example. Mm -hmm.
Hello, may I speak Mr. Martinez? Please. I'm not sorry. He? Seria, I'm sorry. Uh, he's not in. Mm -hmm. Que no está, ¿verdad, Mr. Martínez? Mm -hmm. Can take, uh, can take a message, message, message. ¿Le puede dar un mensaje, por favor, algo así, verdad? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes, please. This is this is Mr. Lisset. This is Miss Miss Lisset. Miss Lisset, okay. This is Miss Lisset con dos S T H. Sería entonces. Doble mm, S T H. Ajá, él. L I S S E T H. Okay. Yes, please. This is Miss Lisbeth. Mm -hmm. No, Lisset sería. Ajá, Lisset oh. sería porque. Ajá, porque entonces yo le diría. Eh, no, it's Lisbeth. L I C. Con Z, Lisbeth. Ajá, porque se parecen los nombres. Es un ejemplo. Mm -hmm. Correcto, es, Miss. Correcto. Correcto es Lisbeth, ¿verdad? O Liset. Primero sería eh, Liset, ¿verdad? Entonces le, le pregunto. A, y ya le de la estrella, ¿verdad? Ajá, es que vamos en is that, ¿va? Is that, is that sería Lisbeth. Y yo le repetiría. Uh -huh. No, it's Lisbeth. Ah, ok. okay. Decirá, is that L I C B E y la otra persona le preguntara no y dijera lo correcto ajá dijera Lisette con dos S uh -huh. sería L I S S I T H Ajá, L I S S E T H. Mm, ok, ok. All right, le contestará a otra persona. Y acá, ¿qué le podríamos preguntar? Que si estaría por la tarde, podríamos preguntar.
Ajá, entonces, ¿cómo iría? Quiero ver, pero me quedé, me perdió. Ahí está. All right. ¿Verdad? Sí, ese era All el... right. Eh, please tell her our meeting on Friday. Um, but for example, sería, eh, please tell her our meeting. Um, no, porque okay. no es reunión. Our training. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Please tell her our, sí. our training on Monday. Is Try, on... Training on Monday. It's on Monday. Okay. Es que le, le, ah, le dice como que me podría agendar, ¿verdad? Training is on. On Friday, dijo, perdón, ¿cuándo? Is on Monday. Monday. At, at, at ten. At, at three. Ah, okay. At three, three. p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Decir, Monday? A, Monday at Monday? three p.m. Vaya, sería Welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back. All right, guys, we're going to take the attendance. When I call your name, please say present. We're going to take the attendance. When I call your name, please say present. Are you ready? Adriana Grethel. Present. Thank you. Andrea Esmeralda. Present. Thank you. Carlos William. Carlos William. Absent. Okay. Cesar Alexander. No teacher. Hello. Christian, yes, I got you, Cesar Alexander, thank you. Christian Oswaldo. Christian Oswaldo. Absent, okay. Claudia Jocelyn. Claudia Jocelyn. Present. Thank you. David Alonso. Present. Excellent. Freddy Jose. Freddy Jose. Absent. Good job. Glendy Eliset. Glendy L. Very good. It is Janet. Good. Thank you, Glendy. It is Janet. Present. Very good. Irving Iroki. Irving Iroki. Excellent. Jonathan Vladimir. Jonathan Vladimir. Absent. Okay. Josue Miguel. Present. Thank you. Carla Tatiana. Carla Tatiana. All right. Absent. Catherine Jasmine. Present. Thank you. Lisbeth Martinez. 
Lise Beth Martinez. Present. All right. Luisa Ariana. Present. All right. Luz Virginia. Luz Virginia. Luz Virginia. Eh, yo creo que ella sí estaba, ¿verdad? Al inicio. Ah, no estoy seguro. Creo que ah, sí. Yo creo que sí, pero no sé. Bueno, tengo que poner absent. Porque... All right, absent. Mayra Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you. Melissa Guadalupe. Ella está presente. Nerlin Haciel. Nerlin Haciel. Okay, Nerlin Haciel is absent. Ricardo Fabricio. Ricardo Fabricio. Present teacher, present. All right. Yancy Yamilet. Yancy Yamilet. Abs. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight people absent. That's a lot of people. All right, let's continue. We're gonna look at the following exercise, which is coming from the video. Message with tell and ask. Listen, please. Let's continue, shall we? Now let's go over on how to take and give a phone message using the verbs tell and ask. Can everybody hear? Get your papers ready and take notes during yes. the exercise. Yes. Page 103, exercise 8, grammar focus. Messages with tell and ask. Statement. The meeting is on Friday. Messages with a statement. Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Request. Call me this afternoon. Messages with a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follow. Tell plus person plus that plus the statement. And because we want to be polite, we may add please, could you or would you. Notice that is in brackets because it may be omitted. When leaving a message with a request, this is how we should do it. Ask plus person, plus two, plus the request. Again, we use please, could you, or would you to be polite. Ready? This is the statement I want you to work with. Our next class is on Friday. Please write three possible statement messages as shown on the chart. And this is the request. Meet me this afternoon. Again, Please write three possible request messages on our discussion box. Okay. 
I'm going to give you uh, an example of when we're going to be using ask and when we're going to be using tell, ask and tell. So it's very easy. Ask, we use just to express the question, right? For example, you say, I ask a question, but you don't identify who you are asking the question. Do you understand? But if I say to you, he said, he said, he has a question. But if I use tell, I say, he told the teacher he has a question, right? Or for example, he said the car has a problem. El dijo que el carro tiene un problema. He told the mechanic Él le dijo al mecánico, the car has a problem, right? So when we use, when we use the verb, the reporting verb said, you don't express who you're talking to. But when you hear told or tell, you express to whom you are talking to, right? For example, for example, um, let me see, uh, who has teenagers? ¿Quién tiene adolescentes in, in his house? Me. Usted, Andrea, okay. So Andrea sale de su casa. Y Andrea dice, hey, Take out the trash. Saquen la basura. Right? So, the sentence is, she said, she said, take out the trash. Pero no le dijo quién. Ella solo dijo, saquen la basura. She said, take out the trash. So, when she returns from work, nadie sacó la basura. Right? And then, Andrea says, I said, take out the trash. But her kids, they say, to who? You just said it. All right, so the next day, Andrea says, hey, Andrea Jr., take out the trash. So when Andrea comes back from work, she doesn't say, hey, I said take out the trash. No, she says, I, I, what does she say? I told Andrea Jr. to take out the trash. Do you understand? Uh, a little bit. Uh huh. So, básicamente, si usamos el say o el said, no expresamos a quién le estamos hablando. Pero si usamos el tell o el told del pasado, te, tenemos que expresar a quién le estamos diciendo. O sea que, digamos, es más general 
y Toad es más directo. Correcto, correcto. Ok, thanks. Say you, say me, say you. Esa es de uh, The Beatles, right? Say you, say me. Okay, guys, time's up. It is time to go. Please practice this topic. This is not an easy topic, but you got to practice it. And tomorrow is the last day. So tomorrow we finish the final exam. Good night, guys. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye.